Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are so happy that you're here. Tonight, we have a very special show. We have an area of reselling, a sort of a bolo of sorts that might leave you scratching your head, and that is used blank VHS tapes. And we'll get to why I believe these are so valuable, uh, some of them anyways, uh, in a little bit. But first, uh, you may be wondering why my beautiful fiance and co-host is not uh, sitting next to me tonight. And that's because she has a well-deserved day off. Uh, she's spending uh, this time with her son and uh, tonight her son's girlfriend. And uh, I'm so happy that they get this chance to hang out right around Mother's Day. That's tomorrow. So I want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day tomorrow, of course. And um, you know what? Actually, uh, Michelle sent us a video. So let's check that out real quick. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to say that I hope all of you mothers out there and dads who act like mothers have a wonderful Mother's Day. I wish I could be with you guys tonight, but I'm not up here with my child. And we are celebrating together. So. Happy Mother's Day, guys. Enjoy the show, and can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, thank you so much, Michelle. That was so sweet. I was so happy that you sent that. And Luna came to join us. Hey, Luna, how are you? So, uh, oh my gosh, guys. Uh, happy Mother's Day once again. Hi, Mom. Um, wishing everybody that wonderful day, special day tomorrow. So uh, again, uh, today we are talking about something that maybe you've never heard. Um, actually resells. And you're saying VHS tapes even. Why do those even resell? I mean, it's pretty crazy, but they still do. Um, there's certain genres of just VHS tapes that will sell, and we'll even uh, show you some of those and some examples here. But tonight we're going to talk about uh, blank VHS tapes and used blank VHS, VHS tapes. Now, these will sell on their own, brand new and sealed, uh, the right ones, usually Sony or Maxell. And uh, but some of these, you know, with other people's writing on them, look right here, we have a, a World Series, Twins versus Cardinals Game 2. Uh, somebody recorded that, and that had some commercials on it. So it is a really uh, kind of pretty cool, nostalgic thing to watch, especially with the commercials, right? So um, I think uh, maybe that's one of the reasons why people really like these so much. Um, now, let's see. So we're talking about, uh, they're kind of like mixtapes, right? I remember... Uh, when I was younger, taking, you know, a blank VHS tape, putting it on the LP mode so you can get six hours of recording and taping like two or three or four movies off of Showtime or something. So you'd have your own collection of your favorite movies. You'd see they'd come on and uh, I said like a mixtape, but with video, you know, you'd make your own tape. Um, sometimes uh, people would record things uh, that are that are happening, like sporting events, uh, World Series or Super Bowl or something like that. And um, they may even, even leave the commercials on. I mean, the Super Bowl commercials are like the best thing, right? They're just nostalgic. Um, now, um, also, reason why people might want to collect these is that, you know, in this digital age, uh, sometimes you just can't find what you're looking for. And that's on Amazon or whatever, you know. Um, whatever, you're paying for the service, but you can't find uh, this Barney episode that you're that wanting to watch, right? <laughs> so... Um, people want these uh, as well because, you know, uh, they may be looking for a certain episode or something like that. But we'll get into more of that. And I want to show you some examples, of course, as well. So um, now this is something that I've sold myself. Now, I'm not... Uh, uh, there's actually a video that I, got, I want you guys to check out. It's about a year and a half ago on YouTube. Uh, one of my videos. Oh, thank you, Luna. So sweet. Yeah. One of my YouTube videos uh, I did that... Uh, featured a Barney VHS tape, one of these, uh, that I did and I put on auction. And it's pretty crazy, guys. Check that out. So I'll leave a link for that as well. Pretty sweet. Uh, that's uh, another uh, living example of what happens here. So we're going to actually go to the unofficial uh, price guide, which is eBay sold listings. And we're going to get an idea just about what I'm talking about here. So Let's check this out here, guys. All right, so this sold with bids now. Let's check this out. 56 bids this went for, and $260, guys. Now, we're talking about something that uh, is common, really. I mean, people are throwing this stuff away, throwing them out. Now, we see that uh, with $260 went 14 VHS tapes. Now, 
crazy guys uh let's look at uh what's happening here a bunch of fairly you know like barely legible writing here um nothing to fear uh something uh night of the living dead 1993 um uh, it looks like there's a lot of like superman batman adventures like the superman tv series now if these all had commercials these would actually be probably really great and obviously they are because somebody perhaps that um, saw that all of these old Batman and Superman um, animated adventures are on these videotapes, they want to go and check that out. And they're probably hoping that the commercials are on there. Uh, and we'll see in the title here that the there's a chi a kids and children's cartoons with commercials, uh, blank recorded 1990s. Um, so you're gonna find collections of these, you know, recorded stuff from the 80s and 90s. And the description says you're bidding on a lot of 14 blank blank VHS tapes that were rec were recorded off television, mostly during the 1990s, mostly consisting of recordings of ch uh, children's TV shows and movies. Uh, please refer to the photos for what you'll be receiving on the tapes. Um, now, my gosh, guys, you know, where, where have you seen this before? Maybe not in a thrift store. You know, I don't see them throwing these sort of like pre-recorded out as much, though I have seen them at Goodwill. Um, I see them all the time uh, when I was at the Goodwill bins, actually, um, in their media stuff. Wow. Um, I would pick through and that's where I would find, you know, um, things like this. Things like uh, the ones that sold for really good money. So... Um, this is one example here, and we'll go ahead and we'll check out another example because uh, I just want to keep showing you guys that uh, this is for real, actually. Now, we're going to go and look at another uh, tape tape lot that sold with bids. So 34 bids, people bid on this. It went up to $200, and this is just a lot of eight VHS blank tapes, TV, cartoons with commercials and promos from the 2000s. So, you know, that VHS tape started like phasing out uh, the early 2000s because of DVDs and all that. So uh, these things just really aren't available anywhere. They don't make them. So if you find the blank ones, those are also, you know, decent to sell to. Not all of them. So make sure make sure to do your research, of course. Now, this one here, uh, we're going to look, uh, try to see what's on here. Uh, we zoom in. We see uh, Cartoon Network, Pokemon, Kids, Warner Brothers, uh, screen gyms with commercials. Uh, we're seeing uh, Fox Kids, Cartoon Network, uh, the Ventura something. Um, so we're seeing like Adult Swim. Uh, so we're seeing some like Cartoon Network stuff here, uh, which is apparently really good. Okay, so keep an eye out for the Cartoon Network stuff. This went for $200, guys. Eight used ble uh, VHS tapes. Um, it looks like maybe this is from the same seller. Uh, most tapes contain either commercials taken from the children's programming and cartoons on them. So um, this it looks like this person found a massive collection of really great videotapes and lotted them up into similar genres and got over $200 for each lot. Now, that is pretty insane, guys, because you know what? You can go and you can find these, like a big lot, a big collection of these. People are throwing them away, you know. Look on Marketplace. Look for a VHS tape, blank. Sometimes you find new ones. Sometimes you find these big collections like this right here. And oh my gosh, guys, if you know that you can pick up a big collection for free and make $500 on it if it's got the right stuff. Now, that's the key. There's going to be a lot of junk out there. OK, you don't want to just pick up any old VHS tape. Um, a lot of it, you know, whatever. But the things that you want to be on the lookout for, guys, are PBS programming. So things like Barney, uh, Teletubbies, uh, maybe even like, you know, Mr. Rogers or Sesame Street. Um, and if those have the commercials in them, even better. Now, um, also MTV, like music videos. Who doesn't like to check out all those old music videos? Uh, you know, even the TV shows from MTV, especially with the commercials. Now, you're finding a the theme here that commercials are what make these tapes probably the most valuable. Um, also, look out for Nickelodeon, like Nick at Night, like old Green Acres reruns and Bewitched and stuff like that, um, especially with the commercials. Um, also, sporting events like World Series, uh, Super Bowls, like really special ones. You know, you got Game 7 of the World Series or something um, that has commercials. Of course, Super Bowl commercials, you all know and love. I mean, they're just so nostalgic. And I want to show you guys 
a, uh, a commercial just to, you know, if, if you remember this commercial now, I literally uh, remember this commercial and um, uh, just to, you know, show like how like nostalgic these things are. Now, um, I literally remember the Super Bowl commercial in 2002. And um, this is actually a uh, commercial that Michelle did um, back in her days of modeling and acting and doing commercials and, and all that fun stuff. So tell me if you remember this commercial, guys. So let's check this out. Okay, guys. So, um, oh my gosh, wow. How nostalgic was that? And that... Like little did I know when I was 22 years old and that came out that um, that was going to be my uh, future wife. I'm just so grateful. Um, what a cool uh, commercial. And uh, she did so many more um, spots and things like that. I'm just so proud of her. So I, I wanted to show that uh, just to uh, uh, do you remember that? Let me know. And Michelle's here. Hey, hello, my friends. Hey, honey. We're so glad that you could. Um, uh, join us and I can't hear you. Oh, that was me. <laughs> yes, honey. That was your uh, commercial back in 2002. Uh, you still look, uh, you actually look even more beautiful, I must say. So uh, thanks for um, uh, chiming in, honey, while you're uh, spending time uh, with your son and everything. Hope you guys are having an awesome time. So um, once again, uh, commercials, guys, that's why people really like these. Now, there's actually um, YouTube channels out there that are like old commercial specific. Like they literally, that's all they show are old commercials and it's very nostalgic. I've caught myself watching those, you know, like getting, um, getting caught up on those. So um, it was just sort of uh, really cool. So uh, really, oh, oh, one, one moment, please. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see here. Oh. All right, guys. So, oh, sorry. Okay. So here we go. We have a wonderful um, comment again from Michelle. Love you. Have a great show. Thank you, honey. We're so wish you were here, um, but we'll see you next week. Okay. So after uh, Michelle's little commercial there, I uh, just wanted to show you that. And let's uh, scroll a little bit more when it comes to some of the solds here, because uh, I wanted to show you some things. Let's see here. We got... Uh, blank VHS tape. Now we're going to search for just that. Blank VHS tape used on eBay. And we're going to see uh, just below the ones that I showed you. Here's another lot of six Nickelodeon uh, blank recordings. Like I was saying, Nickelodeon. Look, uh, if you can see closely here, they have like Ren and Stimpy, SpongeBob, um, Muppets, and things like that. So um, just a lot of six with Nickelodeon stuff. It's 200 bucks, guys. Wow. That, I mean, that's all I got to say. And we scroll down one more. Here we go. Barney and Friends, Shining Time Station, VHS Blank, PBS Kids, $200 for a single blank VHS tape that is used, that has somebody else's writing on it, that somebody else pre-recorded, it's somebody else's mixtape, but somebody is uh, wanting that. Here's another one. Here's another Barney tape, 200 bucks. Uh, Barney and Friends, five PBS episodes, plus Thomas, uh, Halloween Scare and Dare. So there's Barney and some um, other PBS shows. Um, whether or not they have commercials, it doesn't say here, but we could look more closely. But $200, guys. Look at that. Now, um, here's a bolo, guys. Uh, now, if you find the movie Cars, the Disney Cars movie, um, generally you don't want to pick it up unless it is the VHS tape. That The VHS tape, uh, Disney Cars, is a very rare version of that. Um, they, it was sort of like around the time where... VHS and DVD, you know, sort of switch. So they probably only made a very few VHS tapes. And as you can see here with bids, uh, you have them selling for about $150. So there's another bonus below here. Okay, what do we have here? Another Barney and Friends, VHS blank, 150 bucks. No joke here. Now, uh, here is a uh, another sort of bolo when it comes to VHS tape. Uh, it's pretty gruesome uh, cover here. So, I mean, don't look if you're not into that. But um, cult horror movies. Uh, this one's called The Thrill Killers, you know, Maniacs on a Rampage. Um, these cult horror classics on VHS tape are also a bolo because 
they a lot of these were never produced on DVD. You definitely are not going to find them on Amazon anywhere. The only way that you can watch these movies again is on VHS tape. So um, keep in mind, guys, VHS tapes still sell to the right collector and especially the right genres like horror. And we're going to see some more examples of that. Uh, here is another blank VHS tape selling with Sailor Moon, uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, commercials, 2002, less than $150 I went for. Here's some more horror movie, just about the entire Friday the 13th collection for 150 free shipping. Um, nothing too big there. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Another lot here. 22 VHS tapes with cartoons, Care Bear, Sesame Street, Barney with commercials. Uh, $112 with 17 bids. Now, if we went and looked in this listing here, we might see that there was a tape or two that was just Barney. Now, I think they should have sold those on their own. But now you would know to do that. So uh, again, keep an eye out for those uh, Barney VHS tapes. When you see Barney on a blank VHS tape and it's used, you know you struck gold. You're going to get at least 100 bucks for that thing. Now, um, and that's on auction too. Put it on auction, see what happens. Uh, we got another lot here, 62 bucks. Uh, let's see, we have some racing uh, VHS tapes here. $100 of seven. Looks like we got like Daytona 500s. I have sold a racing uh, tape on its own for like 20 bucks. Um, let's see, here's another cult horror classic, uh, White Cannibal Queen, um, and that is in a clamshell case. 100 bucks right there, just for that uh, one VHS tape. Again, Bolo for cult horror movies on VHS tape. Here's another one, Shock, Shock, Shock. Uh, 100 bucks for that VHS tape right there. Here's another uh, Disney Cars movie on VHS. Again, it's not worth uh, much on DVD or Blu-ray, but if you find the VHS tape, uh, looks like you can get at least 100 bucks for it. All right, guys, uh, just more examples of uh, horror movies that are selling for big bucks. Uh, um, on their own, and here's another lot of 29 VHS tapes uh, with TVs, movies, and commercials. $76 with eight bids. So, um, again, guys, there's no joke here. Um, this is really happening. This is out there. People are spending money on these, and it's pretty crazy. So, um, let's give you uh, one more example because I really like this one, guys. Like I said, when you uh, see a Barney, you know you've struck gold because, uh, let's check this out, okay. So we're gonna search for Barney blank VHS used. That's all we're gonna search for there. And we're gonna see, these are available. 420 results are available. Well, we're gonna actually scroll down, excuse the quick scrolling, uh, scrolling here, guys, but we're gonna see that there's actually no blank VHS tapes here. These are all um, recorded, uh, factory recorded with uh, covers or not. <laughs> and they still sell, look at that. Um, Oh, well, that will probably will sell. So we're going to go back up to the top here, and we're going to see what is sold for blank Barney VHS tape used. And we're going to see, oh, here we go. Here's the one that we looked at, $200. Here's the other one that we looked at, $200. Here's the other one that we looked at, $150. Here's another one. Uh, we didn't scroll down that far, but here's another Barney and Friends VHS blank PBS Kids, $50. Bucks. Um, it if perhaps they would have made a log of the tape, like sat down and sort of went through all the episodes that were on there to explain, hey, this is six hours straight of uh, Barney with commercials, they probably could have gotten the 200 for it. Um, so if you want to take the time to do that, you know, like while you're uh, listing and, you know, getting uh, listings prepared, you know, have a VHS tape in there and just make a log of the tape while you're working. Um, here's another one, 40 bucks, has Barney, Mr. Rogers, Sesame Street, and Seinfeld on it. And then we'll see that there are no more. So they're actually pretty rare. And when they pop up, they do sell. So um, again, wow, guys. Uh, Taking into consideration uh, finding these, uh, when you do see them, have a look what's on them. You know, it might be junk. But again, let's, let's PBS shows, MTV, Nickelodeon, uh, special sporting events, Barney. Make sure to look for Barney, guys, and check out my old Barney video. It's about a year and a half old, but it's worth checking out because it's a lot of fun. And, uh, well, guys, I really hope this uh, helped you out, gave you a little bit more knowledge on things that you can find and resell for some good money that, um, you know, maybe you didn't know about, about before. I sure didn't know about it. All I knew is that I used to make these tapes back in the day myself. 
And I did some research on them one day and found what? So I started looking and uh, in the bins, you know, I found some Barney cassettes and I was so excited to go home and list those because of what I knew. So we hope that you find some really great cassettes, throw them on auction, get some good bids. Let us know uh, if you have some good luck with these types of uh, VHS tapes and we'd love to hear about it. So also, I uh, would love to see you next time. Our thrifting videos on Tuesday. We have what sold on Thursday and Saturday night we do our lives. So we cannot wait to see you again, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining me, joining us in our, on our channel. We hope you like and subscribe. And we will see you next week, guys. Thanks so much.